We're doing tonight our top five movie snacks. Yeah. And we all love to snack. I got the belly mm -hmm. to prove it. Mm -hmm. You can keep that food away from me. Just give me some snacks. So for me, I, where's my list? Here it is. This is a little odd. I was actually showing these to my wife. And she's like, yeah, these really are you. I'm not a big like nacho guy or any that for anything like that. So for me, number five, I could eat a whole entire bag of trail mix. Like yeah, the yeah. ones with the M with the M and M's in it and the raisins, and the cranberries, oh. the M and M's. Yeah. The wife doesn't want to go me anywhere near her at that because it gives me the wind something fierce. She's like, "You're sleeping downstairs tonight," but I love tra me some trail mix. That's why because I remember I showed you when we were talking offline the Reese's Pieces uh, version of trail mix. That stuff's addicting. I I, I buy that or they said just strap it on like a feed bag. <laughs> love that I, stuff. Uh, I have one, but it's a combination. It's popcorn and milk duds. Yeah, well, that's like it's like chocolate on popcorn. That's got to be it's 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 caramel popcorn, chocolate yeah. caramel popcorn. Nice, I can see that. You we just uh, that... well, you just dump it right in the bag of uh, you know the milk duds into the tub of popcorn. They, nice they, that type of popcorn with um, cheddar popcorn. They call that the Chicago mix here in Chicago. Mm. You Chicago yeah. people got a lot of stuff out there. I'm telling you, deep dish. It's dangerous, very dangerous. Well, you would tell oh, me about I'm that sandwich go. the other day. What's that hot sandwich you told me about the other day? Yeah, Italian beef sandwiches. I was kind of that surprised. That sounds awesome. Yeah, with you could do jardinera or sweet peppers and some mozzarella on a French roll. Good stuff, man. I like that shit. I'm going to go easy. For number five, Skittles. The regular Skittles. Still my favorite candy. So can't get enough Skittles. And I don't know if you guys have any theaters out there. They have the ones where you could choose colors, which is kind of cool. It's like mm. a sensor machine. You could... Pick one or two colors, and they'll they'll just give you. I like, those the, I like the sour skittles. I like sour stuff. Sour skittles are cool. Yeah, more freedom I, out there in Chicago. It sounds like. Seriously, man, we gotta get more out there. You right? know, don't ask for a <laughs> chocolate milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> for me, my number four. I'm not a big chip guy, but these are the chips I love. I can eat an entire bag. You can sit me in front of the TV with a nice bag of sour cream and onion uh, chips. I could eat that stuff all the time. My uh, number four is something I just got into. It's a uh, it's a cashew, a chocolate, a cashew and dark chocolate uh, combination called dipped. Is it without mm. the e? Is it like apostrophe d? Yes. Yep. I, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, they're delicious. Oh. They're addictive. A little sea salt on there. You know, dark chocolate and cashews. Oh. Mm. I tell my wife, yeah, my wife, that's all she won't eat regular chocolate. She's a dark chocolate lover. Mm. It's right up there with the, with dark chocolate espresso beans for me. She likes Ooh. those and the and the one of the ones she always gets, the dark chocolate covered almonds. Oh, mm -hmm. she loves those. Ooh. I just was in a chocolate factory for my work the other day where they were hardening the dark chocolate. Blommer's chocolate. Oh, it was crazy. You got the golden <laughs> ticket? You were allowed in the factory? <laughs> that I was allowed like the this, factory, yeah. Putting my fabric duct in the place. <laughs> I'll, I'll take one of those uh, vanilla dipped uh, milk bones if you have one of them. Oh, I'm supposed to have this hairnet and these gloves on? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitary? I don't know what that is. Dark chocolate peanut M&M's. Chex Mix, pizza, snow caps. Look at that. Oh, you guys make me hungry. I didn't eat dinner. Um, you, guys, you guys like beer nuts? That's my next one. The beer, beer nuts. Mm. Brand. You never beer had an Italian brand. beef? No, no. It's just, it must be a Chicago. It's not around here. I've never seen it. Have you seen it around here, Frank? Italian no, beef sandwich? but have any of you guys actually had a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese sandwich? How about that? No, no that's you it. haven't. Like, well, and we don't really have Philly steaks here, so you guys have yeah. that stuff more towards that way, yeah. too. So, See, and Frank said it the right way. I, it's not that, pork roll. It's, it's not disgusting. pork roll. Sounds Are you down at Southers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my number... Uh, and actually, somebody just... Oh, they said the dark chocolate M&M's. I'm a m and peanut guy. I could eat those things. Like till the cows come home. That's usually what I get. And I go to the theater. I just get to like, yo, I'll pop. It's just, yeah, just, just give me M and M peanut peanuts. That's peanut, all. Peanut yellow M and M's. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, love that shit. Uh, my number three is frozen Harbo gummy bears. Frozen? I've never had them frozen before. Frozen, huh? Yep. They don't really freeze um, really hard, but enough to like suck on them and then get them soft enough to chew them. So really? then you feel like then you feel like you're not eating so much because you you know it's like oh yeah I'm watching my diet I'm watching my weight and you're just putting a 
whole bunch of gummy bears frozen and you're just you know sucking on them until they get nice and soft and by the time you're done chewing on them your jaw hurts and you're just like yeah that's good that's enough i, I gotta enough. i gotta try that approach to save to save weight so the wife tomorrow might be like why is your london broil frozen well i figured you know <laughs> <laughs> just chew on it for a while i'll just eat a lot less then <laughs> it's amazing the stuff that you freeze it's better it's like all the girl scout cookies you freeze them they're so much better <laughs> yep you know what my wife always freezes they always freeze cool whip Really? Huh. Yeah, it's and, I, and, I'm, and I'm like, I'm like, you, you're ruining the whole perp. You're, ruin, you're you're killing independent George. You're, I'm like, you're killing the whole point of it. Is it? That's it's it's like ice. It's not ice cream. It's um. She says it tastes like ice cream. I go, no, it doesn't. I said, Cool Whip's got to be soft, just like like whipped cream. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they'll. I remember when I first started dating her, we came home with uh, Cool. I saw Cool Whip one time. Oh wow, go, go for some Cool Whip. I like Cool Whip and bananas. So I'm like, all right. So, and I'm looking for it one day. I'm like, what? I'm like, did you eat all the? Like, did you eat all the Cool Whip? She's like, no, it's in the freezer. I'm like, what the fuck's it doing in the freezer? I'm like, I'm like, you're one of those peanut butter in the fridge people. Because this isn't gonna work. Is it cool? Oh no, that's cottage cheese. That's with peaches. That's popular, right? Yeah, that's not. Yeah, cool. yeah. I like it with yeah. pineapple. Pineapple cottage cheese with pineapple, I can tolerate. That's not bad. But yeah, people that put peanut butter in the fridge, it's like seriously, you you just you, you can't put it on bread. Yeah, then when you put the Cool Whip on, there's always a part of the Cool Whip that you're biting, it's frozen, and it just ruins the taste. Yeah, and because it, 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 didn't, it didn't thaw out right. And you're scraping it. It's like I can't believe it's not butter. It's like no, I can't believe it's not Cool Whip. Why is it in the freezer? Keep it, let it thaw. See, what, Cool Whip is always big with what the strawberries, right? And fruit, any fruit. Yeah, yeah. Cool Whip. That's it. I like it with bananas. Cool bananas or strawberries is great with fruit. Blueberries. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's the cherry on the cake. Oh. We've been addicted here, and I think it's my number three here. Sun chips, the garden salsa flavor. Mm. Oh, chips. Addicting as hell. Mm -hmm. The kids are really big into those veggie straws. That's like the popular thing with our kids. And I think like we see a lot of other kids that are eating those things. So they got into the garden salsa sun chips now. So well, we always have veggie straws because my daughter has celiacs. So she yeah. she can't eat gluten. And those are gluten free. So we they always do. Yep, my kids yeah. eat the veggie straws. They actually eat the potato ones and leave the the carrots and they leave the uh, spinach and tomatoes back in the bag. <laughs> they pick them out. <laughs> yeah, they put them all. It's all wet and everything inside the bag. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> what I have? Oh, and my number. Oh, of course, my number. I fought like hell between my number two and my number one, but then I sat back. I said, "Well, you know, I what when I go to the theater, what do I always get if I go to the theater?" So. That's number one, but my number two is, of course, is my unholy addiction to peanut butter cups. I'm going to add to that. My number two is when I go to the theater, and plus, uh, my wife and I are addicted to them as well because um, we can't get enough of it. Are Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces, yeah, yeah. Oh, Reese's Pieces are awesome. <laughs> and when remember Friendlies? The, yeah, uh, the, and Ice they went. Cream. Yep, when they did the Reese's Pieces, uh, uh, happy ending Sunday, when they came out with that peanut butter sauce on top. Oh, funny story. So last week we were uh, doing a concession at one of my wife's horse shows, and we went to Restaurant Depot. And for those who've ever been to a Restaurant Depot, it's just like, wow, you want to see just going amounts of food and shit that you can buy? Sheet cake of brownies. <laughs> <laughs> it, was just, it was crazy. And I'm like, oh my God. And they had this big thing. It was probably like like four pound jug of Reese's peanut butter cup sauce. Oh, I just bathe in it. And I just grabbed it. I was like, <laughs> my wife's like trying to find me. She turns and she's like, all I see is you down the corner like this. Where have you been all my life? And I'm like, and she's like, what is it? Peanut butter? I'm like, no, it's sauce. She's like, sauce. I'm like, it's sauce. Mm -hmm. She's like, what the hell are you going to do with it? I go, what am I not going to do with it? It's I'm going to sauce, sauce everything up. I go, I'm going to put this on everything. I go, I'm going to sleep with this tonight. But then at the end, she talked me off the bat. She's like, no, you don't need it. You're trying to watch your weight. I'm like, son, like, son of a bitch. I'm like, I'm like, I was just going to walk around with an IV drip. Yeah, never mind, Pat. That's when we saw those Dunkaroos. They made the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Dunkaroo. I was like, Ooh! <laughs> Dunkaroos. Oh God, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's my favorite cereal. Oh. Yeah, they made the Dunkaroo version over that with the frosting. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm saving those for the daughter's lunches. I can't eat these anymore. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, it's salt. Was that? Was that? No, uh, no. I, that was my number two. 
That yeah, I number? did uh, Reese's Pieces. Okay, Reese's my Reese's number Pieces. two. I got a. I'm a soft pretzel guy, so the soft pretzel bites. I don't need the cheese. I'll have the cheese if I want, but soft pretzel bites give me a little bit of salt on there. Love a little bit of things. mustard. I, I like mustard. Honey mustard or some regular mustard? Sure. Absolutely. Hell's yeah. And of course, my number one, every time I go to the theater, I got to get these. And they're, and it's funny because I'll always wait till it starts and they're, they're, they're like the loudest things to open in a like silent theater. Twizzlers. Because mm. oh. you're just sitting there, he's like <laughs> trying to get the fucking things open. Everybody's looking at you like and using them as a straw too. Yes, put them put them on my Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a, Twizzlers. I'm a Diet Coke addict. I, I, I oh. just I, I can never give it up. I, there's gonna be an intervention one day. I've tried my wife yells at me, she's like, How many Diet Cokes did you have today? I'm like, let's not talk about it. That's like I, Sean and Clark and Nick Castle, man. They're the Diet yeah. Coke fiends. I'm a diet so if I'm not drink if I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking Diet Coke. I don't drink coffee. I wake up in the morning, oh. I have a Diet Coke. Uh, if anything, I have like either water or unsweetened tea. Uh, I can handle that. But if I'm up like six o'clock in the morning and I'm still up, you'll catch me sometimes at 1030 grabbing a Diet Coke because mm -hmm. I think it's been long enough in the day where I can have one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I tried get quick uh, quitting it years yeah, ago. Gotta build. Have one a day, two a that day. Place. But <laughs> yeah. the problem is. Especially when you get older, you try. I try to drink as much water as I can, but it's like after a while, I'm like, oh my god, I'm tired of going to the bathroom and taking a fucking piss. It's like <laughs> all day long. Goobers, it's at two been... in the morning. Goobers. Goobers, the, the mixed in peanut butter and jelly. Is that right? Is that what yeah, that it's, it's, it's like yeah, peanuts and chocolate. Peanuts More and chocolate. Processed goobers. than ever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like right next to the. They, remember they they had the candy section. They had the yeah. candies that were on the bottom that no one no one bought, like Goobers, uh, Good and Plenty. And snow caps, and no one had bought those. Uh, but I have to bring when I go to the theater. I have to bring in a bag. I have to sneak it into my cargo pants or my cargo shorts. Is a is a bag full of um, golden graham cereal. Oh, I like golden oh, graham cereal. How about that? Okay, <laughs> because it's it's the perfect sweetness, you know, uh, with your diet soda. So I have a little bag with me that I carry with. Um, you know, sometimes they don't, they don't make it anymore, but alphabet cereal, I used to carry that with me too. They had the marshmallow. They don't make alphabet cereal, cereal right? anymore? No, they don't make alphabet cereal anymore. Really? Wow. I've Not over here, at least. <laughs> I think they've they, they probably been bought out. It's probably now called like numeric symbol, uh, cereal or something like that. You get oh, your number God. of twos. That's the show we can do. All, and G's, all yeah. cereals that they don't make anymore. Oh, God. Like Mr. T cereal. I'd go to town for Mr. T cereal. Mmm. <laughs> They, like still make, they still make cookie crisp. I remember cookie crisp. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. They still make them. Yep. Yeah. We buy it sometimes. That's because my kids haven't, they haven't really had it in so long. They stopped drinking. Well, stopped eating cereal. Yeah. Let me see if they make it really quick. Yeah. I mean, I, if I do it, I'll buy the cap, the cinnamon toast crunch, that stuff. I could just eat that out of the box. Just, I could kill a whole box without the milk. I'll, I'll tell you the number one. I'm simple. I, I do like theater popcorn, but we got, we got, we have that little powder dispenser with the ranch flavor oh awesome. it was really? made it was made the alphabet cereal was made with nutra sweet oh remember yeah the pink packet <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't um uh, some guy on ebay right now is selling it for 20 bucks for an unopened box really Kevin, wow. Kevin spacey and swimming with sharks this is equal the blue packet this is the wrong one <laughs> <laughs> wish my, I wish I saw my mother and father's house because they used to have so much expired shit, and then they probably had a full box of that stuff sitting in there. It was they they in two thousand five they introduced post uh, sh cereal sugar free alphabets cereal, and then once then that was like the end of it. Yeah, because then we wanted alphabet sugar. cereal. What did it taste like? Was it kind of like honey nut Cheerios type flavor? <sighs> it, was it was just uh, a little sweet. I know it wasn't heavy, but it was it uh, wasn't it was, plain. Uh, it was like, yeah, it was like Honey Nut Cheerios. It was. It had a little bit of sweetness. I knew it was. Yeah, had some well, it wasn't too sweet, but you'd be spelling swears in your cereal with it. <laughs> Can I, I spell my name? <laughs> You're like, they don't give you enough A's in this packet. <laughs> Where the hell are all the marshmallows? That was the big thing, too. Well, the yeah. French Toast Cereal. Wasn't the French Toast Cereal made by the same people that did the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I thought they, they did. They make all these variants now. Yeah, yeah they made the French yeah. Toast Cereal. That I remember. And they make the they s'mores the one. Christmas flavored one now, and they got peppermint. churro French. Whoa, peppermint cereal. Ooh. Ooh, don't need that. Don't brush your teeth with it. Yeah, don't need that. 
<laughs> oh, that's too much, man. Can't do that. <laughs> just cool. Frosted flakes. <laughs> yeah. Or just cornflakes and they just sprinkle all the sugar on top of it. Or Fruit Loops so where they stick to your teeth and stuff. Captain Crunch. Can't go bad with Captain Crunch. Or we know Fruity Pebbles, Mr. Sean Clark's favorite. Oh, I've never been a Fruity Pebbles guy. No, that's that's like medicine. No, and it would turn like it would turn to like colored paper mache. Yeah, yeah. Cocoa puffs, not too bad. Cocoa puffs because you got chocolate milk after it. Yeah. Or cook. No, was it was there was a knockoff of uh, cocoa puffs. There was a monkey on it. I forgot what the name of that one was. It was it was a um, oh well, forget it. It's not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that Cheerios Crunch at the store. Big picture of clumpy Cheerio on the back looking like a cat's asshole after it leaves the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. <laughs> clumpy Cheerio. <laughs> Unscented. <laughs> yeah, plain old cat. I, Captain Crunch is good, but the thing is, like after you eat Captain Crunch the next day, it felt like you were eating glass because you're 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 gums would be so sore the roof of your mouth the roof of your mouth because the stuff was so damn hard <laughs> and now you can mix all these cereals in with your ice cream at these uh posh uh ice yeah. cream stores now oh yeah it, where you could fill it up whatever yeah yeah like a small cup costs you like 15 dollars because it all goes by weight snow caps too i used to oh i love snow caps oh, what were the chocolate plenty. covered yeah. peanuts what are those called uh, nestle makes those right the Oh, oh not raisin nets. Those are raisins, obviously. Raisin nets. I did like raisin nets. Chocolate covered peanuts. I really like butterfingers, but they stick to your yeah. teeth too. <laughs> they just everything sticks to your teeth, especially when you get older. Believe me. Bless your Fred. I remember back in the night 80s and 90s when the Captain Crunch cereal commercials had the bad guys, the soggies. Yes. Yeah. I remember that. But it's like the blockheads from Gumby's. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> That Uber, is our Uber. oh, that see no that's what uh, he was talking about. Um, What's that, Bill? He's talking probably goobers are the chocolate covered peanuts. Unless yeah. he was talking about yeah. the peanut butter and jelly. And then, I was thinking they're goobers. Yeah, the chocolate covered the, peanuts yeah. were, were goobers. You Sorry, goober. <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these weird candies now because I put in goobers and everyone's coming up with nut duds. They had nut duds. Nut duds. Box. Cereal. Oh. How many bunches of oats with almonds? God, you know when I tend to eat cereal, it's like when we go down to the Jersey Shore. We'd always buy the the little mini boxes. You buy yeah. the variety pack. When we're down there, we just eat a quick breakfast before we go yeah. to the beach or something like that. That's probably the only time I really eat cereal anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see those at hotels. Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah. You usually see them in the hotel, the the continental breakfast. Yep, next that's to the muffins. Friends. That's what Frank's looking forward to. The, the had a good breakfast at the hotel yeah. he's staying at. Remember, mine has. I told you, mine has a a, a plethora of uh, assortment of muffins. Uh, there's eggs, sausage, and pancakes in my continental breakfast in the menu. I'm Frank, set. I, I better have. I better look and see what time that starts before I meet up with Pat for the bus tour. <laughs> I think it's. I think it starts at six. You're going to be like, oh, we got to pull over, Sean. We got to pull over. It's a little heavy. So when Brett and I hung out those those two nights, he realized uh, he's just like, man, does this old guy ever could stop drinking and go to bed? <laughs> it's just like one, two o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, you want another beer? And he's like, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I'm too tired. I'm too At tired. least there's a Walgreens next to the hotel, too. <laughs> Get that Pepto on the way for the bus. I just don't, he's going to see us on his bus. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he knows, though. Remember, because he asked us, he's like, oh, did you guys get the tickets for the bus? We're like, yeah. And he's, he seemed enthusiastic for now. <laughs> for now. For now. For now until, yeah. until we say something wrong. <laughs> so he'll get on his bus. He's like, oh, God, what the fuck did I get myself into? Yeah, you guys sit in the back. Sit over there. I mean, I'll, maybe Darren and I will follow up all you guys in the car. He's going to be like, yeah, you, you guys are going to be on Tony Moran security duty. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks for watching our latest top five from an episode of That Horror Movie Podcast. We do That Horror Movie Podcast every Sunday night live at 8 p.m. on this channel. And every week we feature a top five that we all do together and share live with everybody in the chat. So if you have any ideas, by all means. Drop them in the comments below. Like this video. It helps everybody find this channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And we will see you on Sunday nights.